Good morning, guys, from Monday. I hope you've had a gorgeous weekend um, and a lovely, lovely week ahead and that you're doing okay. Um, I would love to say hello from another beautiful day in London, but it's raining and that's what we have to deal with in London, isn't it? Or the UK, basically. Um, so yeah, anyway, it's warm, but it's raining, so well, I'm going to complain. <laughs> um, welcome to another vlog this week. I am working with Lily Silk, so I'm about to show you some amazing pieces and do some styling and some trying on for this very weird weather that is sunny one minute and raining the next. So it's actually quite perfect because what I ordered was to cope with both sets of weather. Um, I really like the brand. They design incredible basics that always have a bit of a twist. So they're classic and they stay in your wardrobe, but they just are a bit more special. Um, and they're always made really beautifully. Quality's great and lots of it is really silk heavy and that's their specialty and it's obviously nice and temperature regulating for these lovely summer days that we do get um and wrinkle free too which is my biggest thing because i don't own an iron anyway i'm going to show you what i've got just a small moment for the packaging which i love branding and packaging is very something just fell over there um branding and packaging is very high up on my um like wish list because I own a brand and work in branding as well. And it is just very, very good and recyclable. Hi guys, I am back to do some trying on and styling with the Lily Silk pieces. First up, we've got this 100% silk camisole, which I am such a sucker for. They're just so versatile. I've got quite a few in a few different colors, but this is a new addition for me. I really like that it's different on the back and the front and it's so soft and silky. And honestly, the crease has just dropped out. It came obviously folded in that beautiful package I showed you earlier. Hung it up for a bit, gone. I was like, yes, perfect. So you can wear it both ways with like a the wider lace V at the front or the little one at the back. Um, I mean, bra optional. I don't like to wear a bra, so yeah. But I've just put it with some high-waisted denim and a belt. Um, and I think with some sandals, this would look so nice. And... Um, we're avoiding the rain. <laughs> and then also from Lily Silk, this incredible, I'm going to show you it in a different way in a minute, incredible 100% cashmere, beautiful, soft, light, it's kind of semi-sheer jumper. Oh my god, it's so good. So if it is raining and it starts to get cold, look, we are sorted. Um, I always chuck a shirt or a jumper over my shoulders these days because you just don't know what's going on with the weather here. But it is so beautiful um, and I'll show you again in a minute. But yeah, super happy with this. I feel very put together indeed. Guys, we've got our next look on the 100% cashmere jumper is back. It is beautiful. It's kind of semi-sheer. It is so soft, it's like butter. And I've just put it with some denim shorts, the ones that I always keep wearing. Um, and, oh... I'm obsessed and wherever I am at the moment in London I'm always chucking a jumper over my shoulders because I was saying before the weather is so unpredictable this is perfect I got what size did I get I got a size medium in it and I'm normally like an 810 so it's like a perfect level of oversized it probably looked great tucked in too but yeah I like everything a bit oversized and baggy and yeah I'm so impressed with this we're gonna be seeing a lot of this Guys, I think I've fallen in love with the top. This one is 100% wild silk. Um, it's really soft and breathable, actually. It doesn't feel too heavy, even though it's cable knit. It's really light. Oh my God. With the shorts, I'm obsessed. That is really good. And do you know what my favorite bit about it is? The cut, because I struggle with these little bits here. Like, you know, we've got our boobs and then we also often our bras will cut in here and you have this little area. And I hate it when tank tops like really magnify it. Oh, covered. And it's not super high neck either. So even though it's going to be warm, it's not, it's not going to make you too sweaty. I'm obsessed with this. That is so good. And so I'm wearing it with some kind of oversized shorts. I'm going to show you with some trousers too, because it makes it a bit more chic and a bit more refined. Okay. We've got some trousers on. Oh, she's a lady. <laughs> I've just thrown some beige trousers on, tucked it in a little bit. And it still feels really relaxed, but also just a bit more chic. I love this top. We're on to our final piece of the styling session. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this, by the way. I'm on a roll. Um, this is a 100% silk 
black shirt basic but elevated everybody needs one we all need a silk shirt in our wardrobes and this is like butter also it's so comfortable really light it's like quite fitted so it's not an oversized shape so i like to wear it quite open and have just one or two buttons done and i always undo the buttons on my cuffs um, as well so that there's like more movement in the shirt and then i've just got some vintage jeans on in a really light wash um, and I love it. I think it's just a really elevated basic and I'm very, very happy with it. So that brings me to the end of my styling session with Lily Silk. I hope you've enjoyed this part of my vlog and there's going to be a discount code in the description box for you. And now I'm going to make a cup of tea, sit, chill out for a bit and I'll probably be back to catch up with you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. I'm off into town this morning. I've got a couple of appointments. I'm going to see Dinny Hall Jewellery at Liberty before it opens because it's their 40th birthday, which is crazy. Um, I have a really beautiful bracelet from them that I'll show you in a second. I and then go into an appointment with a brand called Maxu to have a look in store. It's a really beautiful dress brand. And I just need to do some shopping and get some bits. And then I've got like a, a work day at home after that. Um, I was having really vivid dreams all night. So I feel like I've been dragged out of sleep this morning and feel a bit all over the place. Um, but I have got on a gorgeous, like kind of straight neck reformation tank, a liver studio um, blazer, which I love because it's so proper looking, but then you can really dress it down. Vintage Levi's and some bell, barrel mode, um, like mesh ballet flats. And then I'm gonna wear um, this little like meshy type, well it's not, it's just open work leather, it's an Agni bag and we're ready. Um, I'm going to show you my bracelet. Look how beautiful it is, it's the silver one. I, oh, I haven't taken it off since they sent it to me. I love it, especially silver with a tan, I'm into. Yeah. Hi guys, I am back from town. I am exhausted. I'm so tired, honestly. Um, it's a beautiful day and it wasn't supposed to be, so I'm very, very happy about that. I, um, I had my human design done last night. Um, it's like a two hour session and it was incredible. And it was so accurate. I can't even explain to you what it is, but it was really insightful, really helpful for the way that I work, the way that I manage my emotions and the kind of person that I am and where my energy flows in my body. And I learned that I've got a lot of energy in my own body so that I actually don't need it from other people. It just gets amplified by the right people, which is nice. And um, so I'm like totally fine on my own, which I definitely feel this last couple of years. I'm like, I am like so happy in my own company. I don't need anybody to give me energy. Um, and like working wise, it was honestly making me laugh so much. I rang my co-founder up straight after. I was like, listen, I've been told I'm not meant to work. <laughs> Literally the woman was like, you're not meant to work, you're meant to have the creativity, the ideas, and then you're meant to delegate and people roll it out for you. You aren't supposed to be wearing 10 hats all the time because you get exhausted. And I'm like, yeah, I am, I'm knackered. <laughs> so it was so interesting and it also just helps so much when working, building my businesses, my brands, like knowing what is best for me to do. Where am I best placed in this company? Like. It's not wearing 10 hats and breaking my neck because I, it makes me want to nap. Like it makes me need a nap. And even today, like I've been to, I was up and out early. I've been to two appointments and it's like quite a social thing. And I caught up with people when I was there, spoke to the PRs and did all of that. And honestly, if there was a sleeping bag on the tube home, I'd have been in it. I'm, I'm shattered. Like, and it's because I have to use my brain so much and you have to be on so much, but I, I'm good for like an hour, apparently, which makes a lot of sense to me. I'll work shy over here. <laughs> Can't believe it. Anyway, um, yeah, so it's just about finding and navigating the ways that you can work best for yourself. And yeah, even around relationships, friendships, romantic, whatever it is, like what kind of person you are, what you will need. Um, 
and it's wild. It is so good, honestly. So, so good. Um, yes, yeah, so I'll be happy to share her details. She's called Lizanne and she's actually going to come to our Bali retreat and do human design for all our guests there, which is going to be so exciting. Um, so I'm happy to share her details in the description box. She's incredible. You can tell her I sent you. It's like a two hour deep dive and she's really wonderful and helps a lot with like implementing stuff as well if you need it. So yeah, it was good. It was, I learned a lot yesterday. Um, and now I'm just gonna make some lunch before I collapse. I'm so hungry. Um, my stomach seems to have really calmed down and everything's kind of back to normal. I've been resting loads. I just eating really plain stuff, no dairy, not too much dairy anyway. And um, sorry. Um, what else? Yeah, just looking after myself. Just out here living my life. And yeah, lunch. And then I have um, like a business call. And then I have a spiritual call. So I have a lot of calls today and actually I feel like I just wanna lay down and do none of it, but it's important and I will, and I'll benefit from both calls in different ways. So I will do that. I've just got a big to-do list over there that I just keep adding things on every day and it kind of makes me feel accomplished because I'm like, yeah, I know I've got to do that. Nope, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> but I, I am getting there with the productivity of it all. Um, and it's great because I have a lovely team, very small team, but very lovely team to help me with all this stuff um, as well so that I can execute it, sorry, properly. I'm gonna get some coconut water in me and some chicken. One more thing. I was carrying around four agreements with me today and reading at every point on the tube. I've nearly finished it. And um, three people that I came into contact today took a picture of this book. So I'm like, yes, yes. And then I sent it to one of my friends and she's halfway through the audio book. And I sent it to her last night and she's already listened half to it. So I'm like, and everyone's saying how much they love it. And I'm just like, yes, yes, please get this book. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Hope you're all really well. I am just getting ready to go to Pilates. I want to say it's another beautiful day in London, but it's not. <sighs> it's going to be fine. It's going to, it's, everything is going to change and it's going to be so beautiful soon. And anyway, maybe the grass needs the rain. That's the positive spin I'm putting on it. So yeah. Uh, off to Pilates. I've had a very chaotic morning of work in my pyjamas and it's like now 12. It's not good. <laughs> I started my morning with a meditation. That felt great. And then it just came at me hard and fast. So um, yeah, Pilates will hopefully like reset me and then I can come home and just take my time with some other bits of work, have a shower, actually like get some semblance of order together in my life here now. And then I've got a really beautiful dinner tonight with uh, a shirt brand called, I mean, I don't even know how to say it. I'm going to have to ask them when I get there. I want to say, I want to say Yat, Yat, Yat. It's Y-I-A-T-T-E and it's beautiful and they make incredible shirts. So yeah, so I'm going to that tonight and it's going to be so lovely. And I think I know quite a few people going, so I'm very looking forward to catching up with everybody. Um, still on my eating clean and chilled vibe and i'm gonna start a food diary i should have started that a few days ago but i'm gonna start it today everything's settled back down we're back on normal operation services uh but yeah it's not great is it so we have to get to the bottom of it but i hope that you are all really well i'm gonna head off now before i'm late off to studio anatomy as usual and i'll catch up with you in a bit hello guys i'm just having a minute and i thought actually i would come and speak to you about it because I just had back the magazine shoot that I went to Portugal to do with Well Curated Magazine. Um, all the photos and the interview with me about Marnie Ray's and like the journey that I've been on with it and like how it makes me feel and like looking at myself and all of the photos of myself in like the sunset and on the beach and just like in my absolute happiest place and it's really made me upset because I'm I don't often feel proud of myself and that's made me feel really proud of myself so I was just sat here crying by myself and I was like you know what I'm gonna tell you about it because we should all be more proud of ourselves like we all have so much to be proud of it doesn't matter if it's a magazine shoe or the fact that you got dressed this morning like <laughs> 
we all have so much to be proud of um, and I don't think any of us take the time or give ourselves credit for any of it. So honestly, <laughs> just opened it and was like, mm -hmm. burst into tears. Um, oh goodness me, honestly. The magazine itself is incredible. Like it's one of my favorite wellness magazines and it is just honestly, it's called Well Curated and there is nothing better out there that is curated in a way that these women like can like honestly um and yeah it's an interview with me in there among lots of other amazing women and just some beautiful imagery that I just it captured it captured me in a time of my life where I was feeling like the most me after it was straight after my first time that I'd been to Costa Rica and I came back and I had a two day three day turnaround and went straight to Portugal to shoot this and was just like I just felt so much peace. God, I'm going to go again. Um, so yeah, anyway, I just <laughs> was sat here and was just like, I need to speak to you about this because it's crazy that some things that make you proud make you feel so overwhelmed, but we, we should be more proud of ourselves. We should be, this should be a normal thing to be proud of ourselves and be like, yeah, I really, I'm so proud of myself for doing that. I really smashed it and I did a great job or whatever it is. Um, I hope this makes sense. I feel very emotional about it, clearly, but yeah um you can buy it from free people stores and you can order it online and it's just a very beautiful magazine it's that gorgeous matte thick paper they use oh it's so good so anyway i'll put the link for it. it's called well curated and yeah i'm going to share some images from the shoot on my instagram and then probably cry some more so i'll go and do that <laughs> hello guys she stopped crying. I have stopped crying for a split second because I've got to go to a dinner. So this is the shirt from the brand that I can't pronounce and I will find out how to pronounce. And it's bright red and I love it. And I've got my shorts that I couldn't stop wearing all last week <laughs> and this week on from Carhartt. Some Dear Francis shoes, which I love so much and I showed you last week as well. There's, they're just, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to be, walk, be able to walk 10 minutes, but we'll see. And then just a vintage Chanel bag. And I am off. Um, yeah, I've calmed down a bit. I'm looking forward to a bit of a night of socialising with people and not crying. Um, but yeah, I think it was just like an emotional, emotional thing. I don't even know if any of that made sense. But anyway, I'm fine. I've pulled myself together. And moral of the story is everyone be proud of yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. weather I always sit out here and have a brew in the morning I feel very lucky and thank goodness it's a beautiful day in London <laughs> um, I had such a beautiful meal last night the restaurant was gorgeous I had gorgeous table mates and it was so much fun uh, I didn't drink and then just toddled home at about half ten I think um, I didn't get to sleep till midnight ish just because I was trying to like calm down and meditate and do all of that before I actually fell asleep um, but it's fine and this morning in like half an hour I'm going to the Lido I'm gonna go swimming with my friend probably swim for an hour-ish and then I've got Pilates after that so I'm having a very active day today and then just dinner with a friend tonight um, which will be so lovely and back up north tomorrow in the morning so yeah really nice day I've got some bits of work to do in between all of that but like 
everything feels very managed for a Friday, which is good. Um, and yeah, not much else to report really. Slept really well. Didn't sign up for my sleep diary, did you? <laughs> I hope you guys do well and that you've had a lovely week so far. And yeah, I kind of take you along today where I can and probably catch up with you in a little while. I am feeling better than I was yesterday. Not even better, just like I can think about the magazine and the things that um, are important to me without crying today. So that's something, isn't it? <laughs> Not me crying on the internet every week, honest to God. Anyway, thank you so much and uh, I'll speak to you later. Hi guys, I am ready to go for dinner. I just want to be comfy. Um, so I've got some trainers on because my feet, I'm just like, oh, comfort. The jean shorts that I keep wearing from Carhartt and this beautiful lily silk um, top that I showed you at the beginning of this vlog. Um, oh, I feel really, really nice in this outfit. And it's like a bit chic, but also casual. And I'm just gonna put a little jacket over the top. We're just gonna go meet in Soho. I'm meeting Catherine, my friend. You, put, you might know her already, she's called Catherine Ormerod, and she has just released the most incredible book. She's smart, witty, so talented, a DIY queen, and the book is called Not Your Forever Home, and it's built for renters who, like, we're all renting and we just want to make our homes feel like our homes without having to compromise on the way that they look when they don't belong to us. So yeah, like, it's a book packed with incredible design ideas, DIY tips, low cost, um, but high chic. <laughs> so yeah, I'll put a link on it for you. But yeah, I'm just going to go, I'm going to celebrate because her book's out, like I said. And yeah, I also, she turned 40 in. I went to her 40th in Paris. Uh, you'll have seen that on the vlog. And I've had a commission done for her by Lucy Marn, the artist. So um, uh, yeah, and it's only just ready. So I'm so happy to be able to take it to her like two, three months later, I think it is. Um, but yes, so I am ready and I'm going to go now into town um, and then I'm off up north tomorrow. I am going home for the weekend um, at my best mate's birthday, Laura, um, and I'm going to see the Gruffalo live, which I know, super chic. I'm going with her and her little girl <clears throat> on Sunday and I've got my nephew George on tomorrow. So yeah, can't wait. Going to have a little round robin, 24 hours back to London. Um, so yeah, I actually, I actually might finish the vlog now, to be honest, because, I'd, yeah, because that's going to be it really. And then I'll start again on maybe Monday because I'm going on a press trip with Aloha's the amazing chic shoes and also sustainable, um, ready to wear as well, which I didn't know, which is so nice. Uh, so I'll show you bits from there and take you along. I'm going to Menorca and I'm taking Kim and it's going to be so much fun. So yeah, uh, last little squeezing of a holiday before Marnie Ray starts in June. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching and um, I hope that you've enjoyed the vlog. Any questions as always, ask me and I'll link all my outfits and stuff. So it's really easy for you to shop and find things. And also discount code for anything I talked about that was Lily Silk will be in the bio for you. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.